Hi, my name is Kathy Burleson. I've been a member of Fellowship Church for almost two years now. Jenny asked me to give my testimony and, and how it relates to the children here and the children's ministry. When I was a little girl, all my friends wanted to grow up to be teachers and nurses and doctors and the only thing God ever laid on my heart to be was a wife and a mommy. I eventually got my dream. I have three beautiful children and three beautiful grandchildren, but life wasn't always a dream. At times it was really hard. One day I woke up, my marriage was over, and I was left alone to raise my kids by myself. God didn't always promise life was going to be easy. He did promise he would always be there if, if we saw him out. It was tough. There were days when I wondered what I would feed my kids. There were days all I had was a can of tomato soup and, and one, one apple. I'd make the soup and instead of crackers, I'd pop a little bowl of popcorn and I'd put it in the center of the table. I'd take the apple wedge, the apple and cut it into wedges and put a little peanut butter on it and make it out to be like a little party. The kids never saw that inside I was crying and, and so sad and upset with myself because I couldn't afford to give them more. And then years later, down the road when they grew up, we had a lot of people at the house for a dinner and sat down after dinner and my kids were talking to a group of people and talking about this meal that I used to make them and how great it was and they just had so much fun with this meal. And I'm sitting there thinking they're going to talk about years later when I could afford to fix like a turkey dinner or a steak dinner, but no, those kids were telling these people about the tomato soup and popcorn dinner. They went on and on and on about how much they loved those dinners and how, how much fun it was. God took that feeling of failure that I had in my heart turn it into the sweetest memory that I have with my kids. A few years ago, doctor um, found several tumors and several masses in my chest. I was raised in a Christian community. I was raised in a Christian family. We were taught to pray and we were taught to pray and to believe. So my children and I prayed we had our family praying. We had our prayer warriors praying. So we went to the doctor after all the tests were ran, and I was prepared if the worst was told to me. If, if it was my time to go home, I knew God had a plan, and he would take care of my kids. But we walked in that day, and the doctor came in, and he sat down, and he looked at my daughter Jennifer, and he said, take her home. It's all benign. God gave me another blessing that day. And a few months after that, I started having dizzy spells and went to the doctor again and the test ran and was told I had a brain aneurysm, sent to a surgeon and my daughter and I went to visit the surgeon and he's telling us about the procedures and the risks and he stopped for a minute and he said, there is a slim chance and he said, and he, he was really accelerating on the slim chance he, he didn't want us to really focus on it, that there could be this thing called a flat vein. And before he had a chance to even stop and tell us what a flat vein was, Jennifer and our hands went to heaven and said, we claim it in the name of Jesus. So he proceeded to tell us again that don't count on that. It's a, it's a very slim chance. And I told him that may be a slim chance, but, but my God is a powerful God. So we rolled me into surgery. They went in, they come out, they rolled me back out and told them to take me home. It was a flat vein. So again, God gave me another blessing, and this one was a, just another pure miracle. God's always been there for me. I, I've never felt alone. Not that I could feel alone growing up with those kids because my house was the house. We always had anywhere from 2 to 20 kids roaming around at any given time. Uh, my kids always say that, that when I do die, that mom, 
there won't be any people there your age. They're going to all be our age there. And I go, that's all right. That's, they're, they're my babies too. Our children are a true gift from God. One we only have for a short time. We try to do our best. And then we have to let go and give them back. And we have to pray that God will forever be watching over them and protecting them. This is the hard part, because my youngest is going to be leaving in two weeks, going into the Army as an Airborne Ranger. He is safe, and I know if anything happens to him, he's going to wake up in glory, and I will be with him one day. But on November the 17th, when I say goodbye, I will be turning him back over to God's ever-loving protection. My children are my greatest blessing. Many, many people have added those blocks to my children's foundation, one brick at a time. So a few months ago, when the church asked for volunteers for the church's, for the uh, children's ministry here, it was such an easy yes for me. It was time to give back. Peter said, faith without works is dead. Matthew 18, 3 says, unless we become little children, we shall not enter the kingdom of heaven. In Mark 10, 14, Jesus said, Suffer the little children to come unto me. Forbid them not, for such is the kingdom of heaven. I can't think of a better way to give back to those in my child's lives and to honor God than by volunteering in the church's children's ministry here at Fellowship. So if you're thankful for the children God put in your life, if you're looking to give back, if you have a doer's heart, I encourage you to volunteer here at Children's Ministry. You will be blessed, I promise.